Non-native wild turkeys were introduced in North Dakota in the 1950s. Over the years, little research has been done on turkeys, and that's why the Game and Fish Department has teamed up with the University of North Dakota to trap and relocate nuisance birds. It's a two-year field project, uh, five-year total project that we're doing. We're looking at moving turkeys and their survival in North Dakota. When we get turkeys to come in, we have depredation, you know, on winters like this year, got a lot of snow. A lot of times they'll come into haystacks, feed piles, things like that. The department uses rocket nets to trap turkeys at each location. The birds are brought back to the lab where biologists attach leg bands, draw blood, and carefully fit GPS backpacks on each bird. With the study, we want to move 180. We want to do those, you know, split them up 90 each winter. Uh, that way we can get a good sample size, kind of, you know, skew more towards the females. UND PhD student Kaylee Isaacson will monitor these birds for the next few years. We're actually going to be able to use the department's aircraft to fly over these birds and pick up their GPS data points. We even have the chance to use some handheld telemetry and possibly a drone to pick up these data points. And these data points are going to be telling us where these birds are moving once they've been released. And some birds will actually be left behind on control sites for control comp comparison so we can compare the movement of the control and the transport birds. We can look at their survival. Nesting data is also a crucial part of this study. We want to get nesting dates, uh, all vital rates, because really in North Dakota, we just don't have that. There is a landowner component to this study as well. We're also going to look at the, the if the landowners are satisfied with the program. Um, just, you know, sit down and ask them a few questions about, you know, their, their opinions on turkeys and opinions on the department's response to depredation turkeys. So far this winter, 100 turkeys have been fitted with GPS backpacks and are only released on wildlife management areas that have suitable habitat to support turkeys. This is Mike Anderson in the North Dakota Outdoors.